Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of the Wellness We Care podcast. I am here once again with our main guest, Dr. Sant from the Wellness Center. Thank you so much for being here. You're welcome. Earlier, before we started this episode, we were just having a quick chat about something that had been making the rounds on social media lately in Thailand. There was an incident of someone who got bitten by a snake in right. Pisanello. King Cobra. A King Cobra bite mm-hmm. from a volunteer who came to look after mm-hmm, mm-hmm. a snake that was found in someone's house, I believe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And this incident left the person hospitalized. Um, and I think he is in ICU or currently recovering. Um, this news was very interesting to Dr. Sant. He was looking at it from the medical perspective of how they treated him. He was only, I believe, two minutes away from the hospital. So I would like Dr. San to maybe right. tell the story better. And he's also going to give us some tips if you are ever faced in this situation where you encounter a snake or a snake bite for yourself mm-hmm. or someone you know. Yeah. Um, the incidents, the, the point is that currently uh, medical community issue the recommendation that tonique should not be used. Tonique, I mean, uh, to tie up the rope around the, the proximity of that part of the body. And it appears in the guidelines issued by Center of Disease Control, CDC, and WHO, that tonique is contraindicated, should not be used. Should forbidden. not be used. It's forbidden. So, uh, in the field, people get this advice and heed the instruction. So they do not, they don't use the tonique, including in this case. Uh, but the point is that uh, the tonique is bad, that's, that, that's real. And we accept globally that it should not be used. But the technique to replace tonique is called uh, pressure immobilization. This technique is practically unknown in Thailand. So I, I would like to make it clear here that, okay, we do not use tonic or what we call khanchana in, in Thai. You know? Khanchana. <laughs> okay, so tying a rope to your arm yeah, 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 yeah. to stop the blood from uh, moving is We not do not do that, but we have to do what we call pressure immobilization. Okay. I, in Thai, I would say that... Uh, I will, I will show you. Perfect. Let's how, get a live demonstration it. of this uh, so all of you watching can also learn so, how suppose, to do this. Suppose you are bitten by the cobra. Yes. Uh, that's the, the fang mark of my the cobra. My <laughs> on my hand. Yeah. Uh, to do the, the uh, pressure immobilization, you've got to tie it above the Okay. Uh, the snake bite, a uh, bit relatively tight. Yep. Uh, practically, we call it seventy millimeter. I show the way to test it. Yeah. We, to test the millimeters. tightness. Yeah. You must be able to put your finger underneath that tightly. Okay. And then okay. I put this uh, up to cover the whole length of your. Arms or your legs. How so, far do you go? Uh, all the way. All the way, yeah. Got to keep on tightness about 70 millimeters all the way. Mm-hmm. And then would you please put your hand? Yes, of course. Temporary? Uh-huh. Okay, this is the first part is pressure, okay? And then the I will use this. I don't know what it is. Immobilization part. You put your arm here. Mm-hmm. Immobilization, you just keep it still. Don't move it. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh. You are run out? No. Ah. Some more tape? No, it's the doctor's eyes, not good enough. <laughs> oh, doctor. You know? Time is running out. <laughs> 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 the venom is going up my arm right now. Can you see it? Where it is? <laughs> Here you go. Suppose 
you are still conscious at the moment. I'm still, I'm still. <laughs> there we go. Okay. There we go. <laughs> so what? What is the? Why do we have to keep it still? Because the venom travel through the lymphatic system. Yeah. If you move the muscle, that will pump Moves the faster. lymphatic system. Yeah. Okay. The venom will move faster. The pressure will press the area. So that the, the venom will be... Slow down. Slow down and uh, disintegrated through the process we call hydrolyzation. Okay. Uh, and then lastly, you've got to check that the blood still uh, come through your nail. Okay. Check the nails. Uh, and then you take off the rings, whatever, and then you scrub the wound. Scrub the wound. Clean it. And then... To hospital. Rush to the hospital. Mm -hmm. So this is uh, pressure immobilization. Okay. A correct technique to do when anyone is bitten by venomous snake. Okay. Okay. A <laughs> couple more questions, maybe. What if you don't have a tape? What else can you use? You can use anything that... T-shirt, uh, anything, clothes? Uh, suppose this one can be used. Use your shirt. With some elasticity. Yeah. With a little bit of elasticity. Around, yeah. And my other question was going to be, do I need to put my arm like above, high, ah, that's low? Good. You got to put it low, Lo lower than low. you, not, not that low. Just, low as possible. Just keep it lower than your heart. Keep it below your heart. Yeah. So that it pumps slow, harder to pump up. Um, yeah, because the, the pressure in the lymphatic system is very low, something like five millimeter okay. uh, mercury. So if you keep it lower than the heart, uh, the lymphatic will system will, yeah, will take longer time to coming up. Mm -hmm. You said that this person was only two minutes away from the hospital. Yes, that this the the rescue team is there. Yes, they are already there. They went out to catch the snake, you know, so you are really well set up, and they monitor the even second by second. Yes, and suddenly he collapsed. It just less than one minute. Yeah. So they used the wrong technique. No, 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 not that wrong, but. The perceived recommendation of tonic A is contraindicated. Yes. Uh, that's true. That's right. But they don't know about this, this technique. pressurized immobilization yeah. technique. Don't do tonic A, but do this pressurized immobilization technique. I, it doesn't, that's, that's I didn't think it was tight enough at the start, but now I actually feel it, it's actually... It's got to be tight a little bit. It's, and it's quite tight. It's important that... You can Still put your put finger underneath there. One finger tightly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. There you go. If you <laughs> ever encounter a snake bite, or you know a friend or someone who has a snake bite, then we recommend this method. Pressure immobilization. Pressure immobilization. Uh -huh. Obviously, call nine one one. Get yourself to a hospital as fast as possible, somewhere where maybe they have anti venom or something that mm -hmm. they can help you. Um, I think we just heard, luckily, that the person is now out of ICU. Mm -hmm. So I'm um, very happy and obviously grateful for these type of volunteers. I'm going to take this out of my arm, and then we will continue on with the next episode. <laughs>